I'm Walt McClay. I'm going to talk about how Volair does medical device design. We are able to work on devices from class one all the way to class three. This is the very low risk ones to very high risk ones. We work with FDA requirements, CE requirements, and requirements for countries all over the world. What we do is everything from the requirement definition all the way to transfer to manufacturing. And I'd like to go through the steps that we are involved in. The requirements are critical. They need to be done in detail and they need to be testable. They need to be individual requirements where each one can be tested and have a pass-fail result. We often help our customers because requirements are sometimes difficult to do in the detailed level that's needed. We also help with risk analysis. It's important to identify what the risks are in a device because a medical device must be safe, even if something fails. So the risk analysis identifies what risks there are and what mitigations there are to make it safe. And those mitigations often go back into the requirements and have additional requ requirements that help make it safe. We then help with the technical risk. Early prototypes are often needed to reduce the technical risk. An example of this was a device we designed that goes on an AED, an automatic external defibrillator, such as you find in airports and shopping centers. This device needed to report the status of the AED once a month, which is an important thing to do. It's straightforward because the AED has a display that shows if it's got a problem and we simply needed to detect if that was showing a problem or not. And we could do that with a simple LED and photodiode. We put together a prototype and it was able to work in total darkness all the way to direct sunlight. The customer looked at it and decided that it obscured the display of the AED more than they were comfortable with. So we redesigned it, we used a camera and an LED and it was able to be at a different angle and it satisfied the customer, it was, the display was visible. All of this work was done in three weeks at very low cost uh, by putting together things that were taped together in many cases. Uh, but this allowed us to get to, to reduce the technical risk very quickly. The next step is we do the design and then we produce prototypes that are just like the production model for you to test. And then the next step is verification testing in which we test each item in the requirements to make sure that it is meeting all of those requirements. We've done this, for example, on a class three device where we developed all the software. This was for a heart pump. Uh, we developed the software, we developed the protocol for testing, and we did the actual verification testing. We then filled in the uh, quality system documentation that the customer submitted to the FDA, and the FDA had no questions about software, which is unheard of in a class three device. And it was not a fluke because we then did a revision of, of about a year later, and when we submitted the verification results for that, again, there were no questions about software. We're able to do this for small and large companies. The, the quality systems for small companies are simpler than for large companies, and we adjust to what is needed for a small or a large company. We also help companies by working with quality and regulatory partners and with manufacturing partners. We can help you with the transfer to manufacturing. So that covers the entire process of designing medical devices.